Hey guys and welcome back to Cubing with Cats. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the Mega Mix. I'm going to be doing this in a fairly similar format similar format to my 3x3 video, my 3x3 tutorial CFOP. If you want to learn a better method than beginners but you already know big beginners, I, re I really recommend looking at it. I think it's a pretty good video. So on this cube, in this cube, I'm going to be showing what needs to be done, like solving part of the cube. I'm going to do it on this cube and show that. Then I'm going to do it on this cube showing you how to do it. Just This one just sitting in the background seeing what my end goal is. Whoops. This was the this was this in the in the 3x3 video and this was this. I prefer stickerless cubes, but these cubes I both like a lot. The Chi Kui Chang? I'll grab something and check. Where is it? Okay, for some reason I have the box. But it says... Can, will it focus? Nah, well, I'm just going to look at it outside of the camera. Mega Minx Cube Rock Sick Ma Rock Stick Ma Cube Puzzle Toy New. Made in China. Okay, that's just the Amazon label. Um, it is the... Chi Kui Cheng Mega Minx Speed Cube. Oh, wait, no. It's more than a professional speed cube. Did it autofocus there? That's kind of cool. That's the Kui Chang, and then this is the Cyclone Boys Defantix one. I also like that a lot. It's got these nice grooves that I like. I don't care whether it's stickered or stickerless, really, but I'm using this one for representation. This one's a bit faster, and this one's more controllable. I really like them both. There, there's, I don't really care which one I use. If I had a main, they would, it would, they would both be my main somehow. I would just, when I had to choose a main for that for a competition, I would just reach into my bag, and the first one I grabbed, I guess. <laughs> So, first step is notation. So this is R. I'll do it on this cube. This is R. This is L. And hopefully you already know 3x3 three three notation because that will be really helpful. R prime, R, L, L prime. I'm not going to show it. This is U. The upper layer. This is BR. And this is BL. But I don't think we use that. I think we just use BR. And you need to know that a Mega Minx is similar to F2L, a 3x3, three three. really, not just F2L. I'm going to grab my better cube. Recently got a GAN cube, a few other Christmas gifts, too. I'll be making a review soon. So first you do the cross. Well, on this cube, it's more of a star. Then you do five F2L pairs. And then you do a, like an upside-down triangle. This center, these two edges, and this corner on every face. And then more F2L for all of those. And then you do last layer, which I'm going to be doing for look last layer. Got it pulled up on cube skills. Well, I don't have it pulled up, but I have my laptop nearby and I can open it up. It's a really nice... Cube skills are really, is a really nice website. I don't think I'm allowed... Am I allowed to say brand names and stuff? I don't know, but if I'm giving it a positive recommendation. Cube skills is a good web website for 3x3 three three and to big cubes. 3x3, three 4x4, three, 5x5. And it also has big cube videos and mega minks. It's just a really good website for all your cubing needs. I use it a lot. It's the main website I use because, like, everything is there in one place. I really like it a lot. You should check it out if you want. And it has a, a ton of subsets and stuff for all the algorithms, and you can print it off because they're PDFs. So, I think that's all I need to focus on this clever thing. Yeah, okay. The first step is the cross, or the star, I guess. So, for a purpose of example, I'm doing white cross. Yeah, I just looked away from the camera. That's white, not not tan, luckily. And you can do any color cross. I'm color neutral, so I can do any color cross. Same on 3x3. Three three. I'm just color neutral, Yao, and all that stuff, color neutral. And you don't have to be color neutral on Megaminx. It's actually pretty hard. And you, it's, you're just as good doing, like, one color, like, white. Most people are. So next, let me find the first white piece. Oh, that white. No, that's pink. It's really hard to see through the camera. I'm going to lean around, so I'm sorry if like my framing is bad or something, because I'm leaning around the camera. Looks like this piece is purple and white, so I'm going to put it on the purple and then put it on the white. Before watching this video, I recommend watching my CFOP tutorial and just knowing how to solve a 3x3. Three three. Man, I'm out of breath for some reason. <laughs> because you got to understand like the basic steps of, it, of, of doing a cross and stuff. Next, I think I'll do white, yellow and white. So I'll move it over here so I can move it right there so that I can move it into place. Next, that's green and white over there. So I'm going to move it to this face. Green's over all the way over here. 
Then I'm going to move it over here. Then I'm going to move it over here. And then over here. Then move it to white. That's three out of five. Is it? Yeah, that's a red white right there. Now blue and white is... Hmm. Oh, right there. Okay, can't believe I missed that. So I match it up like that, and then I match it up in place. Done. Next step is doing the first five F12 pairs. I just elbowed something on my desk. There, it's back. So this, so this F12 pair, this F12 pair, this F12 pair, this F12 pair, and this F12 pair. Now, this isn't the same as just doing five F12 pairs on a normal cube, because the pieces can be anywhere on all of these faces. Not just on this face and these four spots. So it's actually a little bit more difficult. You just gotta look around the cube more, but it's not that bad. So let's do white, green, and red. Looks like the corner's right here and the edge is over here. So I'm gonna move it into place and then move it like that and then position it over its slot by moving its slot like that by one and hold it over. Do it like advanced F2L and then put it back. And this one looks pretty good. White, blue, and red. Move it out of there. Make it so I can do advanced F12 like that. You know what? I'm just going to pair it up up here. And then move it to here. Then put it in its slot. Now, I recommend doing beginner F. I normally do beginner F12. I'm just doing advanced because that's the case I got. I'll do white, yellow, and blue. Looks like I'm doing advanced again. I suppose I can just pair it in up here. And then... Put it over, bring it over here, and then put it in. This really is pretty similar to beginner, to F2L on a 3x3. Getting this white, purple, and blue. I mean white, green, and blue, purple. Ready for pairing in. Moved that piece once. Now it's in, and then I move it back. Because it's basically just F2 on a 3x3, F2 on a 3x3, but you're keeping track of a lot more pieces. And I've heard it also improves color neutrality, because you have to do these F2 L pairs, and then these F2 L pairs, and a ton of different colors. So it might, I don't know. So let me do white, purple, and yellow. The edge is over here. I'm going to bring it up here, and then move it over one slot by doing that. So that's a great piece, luckily. Then... I do advanced F12. There's the first five pairs. The next step is doing these upside down V triangle things on each side, consisting of all four centers except the last one, which, if you're doing a white face first, is gray. So, you, it's like, the way I do it is I put one edge in, that's pink and red, it looks pretty similar through the camera, I wonder if it looks, if they look pretty similar on the video, I don't know. So I'd do one edge, and then this is basically an F2L pair for me. So there's those, so now let's get to actually doing them, instead of just looking at something where they're done on. So let's do... Hmm. Why don't we do pink, because an edge is just kind of in place. So what I do is I'll move this twice so that that matches, pink and red, then I'll find the F2L pair, so pink, blue, and red, which is right there. Well, that's the corner. Then pink is right there, so I don't want to mess that up. So blue is the color that needs, no, it's red that needs to go here. So I need to find the pink and blue edge, which is right here. So I'll move this one and then bring it up like that. Oh, maybe I'll keep this cube in the frame there. Then I'll bring it over to here. Oh, it's in place. And I'll move this once so that this edge is here so that I can just do advanced F2 to put it in. Then I put it back. That's the pink V done. Just gonna call it a V. Oh, that edge is in place. Yeah, most of the time one of them will have an edge in place. So you can just choose that one first. So I need to find the, oh, it's right there. This corner, yellow, blue, and green. Bring it over here and find the green and blue edge. It looks to be light green and dark blue. Recognition's a little weird, but it's fine. I just need to think, okay, so it's, that's... Is 
this. It's dark blue and light green. Wait, only one blue. Wait, what? Oh, this is dark blue. <laughs> that was a mistake. So dark blue. So it is that edge. Never mind. So I bring that up. Then it looks like I set myself up for some beginner F2L, so I'm going to do that. Then I'll bring this up, put it in, and put it back down. So that's two done. Two of the V's done. Next I'll do... Okay, none of them have anything ready. I'm going to do orange. Let's see. Oh, orange and yellow is right there. So I'll just move that up and then put that in. And that's done. Then I need orange, yellow, and purple, which is right... Right here. Then I need orange and purple. I don't know if you can hear that cat purring in the background. That's my other stubborn cat. <laughs> You'll have seen the first one if you saw my How Many Random Puzzles Can I Solve While well, My Mom Solves a 4x4 video. That was pretty fun. I liked that video a lot. My mom chose the hardest, most tedious cubes. And that was one of my cats. And the other one... Can you see where she is? Oh, she's by my bed. But for some reason, not on it. Wouldn't that be more comfortable? Okay, yellow, purple, and orange. Gonna set myself up for some advanced F12 right there. And then... Goes in right there, so I'm gonna... Move this once. So I can do that. And then put it back. So that's one, two, three, done. Um, it's really hard to recognize through the camera because it gives like it, it like an orangish tint. So I can't really tell the difference between white and tan because it kind of saturates the white somehow. And pink and red are a little difficult. It's just through the camera though. In in real life, this Mega Mix is really nice. I totally recommend either of these. So. that one in like that, tan and green. Next I'll need tan, oh it's right there, tan, green, and red. And it looks like I'll also need tan and red, so that is right there. So I put it in like that, and that's the tan V done. Now I just have light blue. So I put that on, that, that in. Then I find this piece, this corner, turn it like that. And I find the blue and purple edge, which is right there. Then it looks like advanced F2L. I'm going to move... Ow, my cat is scratching my bed for some reason. She wants attention. So I move that like that. Then if it'll turn back, I'll do advanced F2L. And then put it in. That's the V's done. The next step is the last layer, which is orient... So I'm showing you four look last layer which is orienting these edges, and at that point we're ignoring the corners, then orienting the corners, then permuting the edges to put them in the right place, even if gray's on top, and then permuting the corners. So I'm going to do this last step a little bit differently. Instead of showing what needs to be done on this cube and then doing it on this cube, that means I'll have to do four cuts, which is a decent amount of editing and stuff. I'm just going to do it on these cubes, both of them, to show that there's several different cases. So for edge orientation, there's only three, and I'm just looking at a paper that I have on the floor. Um, this one, you hold it like this, and you do F. I know these, though. R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then it's solved. And on this one, you hold it like this and do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then you've got this case, and you bring it over to here, and then you do F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. Looks like I only have eight minutes left on the camera. That's because there was already a bunch of family photos on this. I don't actually own this camera. The next step, okay, this is where I need to start looking at papers. Um, let me see, are these the same case? Let's see, these in front, and then this right there, and then this right there, and then this right there. Yeah, these are the same case. So it is, let me just look at the papers. Uh, hmm, okay, I think you hold it like this. And if you hold it like this, then this one needs to be facing this. Oh, no, that's not that case. It's that case. Right? If you hold, oops, that's a problem. This is actually, if you notice this one's different, that's because I did record these, and then I realized that my lamp wasn't on, my lighting, so I needed to record them again, because it didn't look that good. 
So that needs to be like that and that and that. Okay, I know which case it is. I hold it like this and I do R U2 R prime U prime R U2 R prime U2 prime R U prime R prime. I recommend checking out Cube Skills. It's a really good website for all you, for all your needs. I use it a lot. I printed off all those all the PDFs and everything I needed from it. And there's lessons. Everything just helps so much. It got me from a minute. Now I'm sub 20. I'm average like 18, 19 now. And I've only been cubing for a few months. Honestly, it's a really good website. You should check it out. R U two R prime U prime R U two R prime U two prime R U prime R prime. Now they're oriented. Let me look at this case. What case do I have? Okay, I'm gonna find edge permutation. Oh, I'm already on it. Looks like R U R prime U R prime U prime R two U prime R prime U R prime U R U two. Oops, R U two prime. Now all the edges are oriented correctly. Now the corners on this first cube. Um, looks like it's that case. R prime, F prime, B R prime, R B R R prime, R prime, F R B R prime, R prime, B R R. Done. I was looking at the papers there, so I just now noticed that it was solved. And then this case. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. R prime, F prime, B R prime, R, B R, R prime, F, R, B R prime, R prime, B R, R. Done. See? So I really recommend checking out Cube Skills. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe, you know, click the bell or whatever it is. And make sure to leave a like or dislike rating based on how you like the video. And also check out my friend from Oroi's channel. He's my neighbor, he's really nice, and he makes pretty good videos too, good quality, and he's helped me understand redstone, which, ah, that stuff is, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> nice Minecraft channel. Is there anything else I want to say? Now the last, last thing I think I need to show you is an example solve using the method I just taught. Now I don't have all the for look last layer algorithms memorized yet, so I have them on a paper next to me, but I'm just going to go ahead and start then. I'm going to do blue cross, and then there's a piece. Now I do green cross because there's a piece right there. Where's the yellow? There's the yellow center. Then green. Oh, there it is. I don't know why I said green. That's the center I'm doing. I meant orange and green. Now I need to do the first F12 pair. I'm doing this one. This, of course, isn't a speed solve because I just learned how to solve a Mega Minx. I don't even know all the four look glass layer algorithms yet. I can just orient center edges. That's all I can do so far. That's the first pair in. I've only had this for, what, a few days? Week tops. Move this over to here so I can bring that up and then do that and do that. And then move it so that this is like that. Then that over there. Just move it like that so I can just put it in like that. I'll get that in there, move that like that, and that's the first F2Ls in, oh is that a pair, that needs to happen, oh, that goes in there, I'm going to do this one instead because, oh wait, no, never mind, I'm not going to. A little mix up there. I thought it was going to be better. Going to do this one then. The one I was planning on doing, and then saw that. Get that ready. Put that in. Oh, my watch slipped on my wrist weird for some reason. There. 
Got my dad's old Garmin watch. He got a new one. Next is that piece. Maybe I should just take my watch off. Eh, too late now. Gonna find this piece now, which is right there. Then move that piece together with it. And put them in. Then that there. And then I need to find this piece, which is that one. And then I'm gonna have gray and blue, which is right there normally I do my left thing my left pointer for for F prime but for some reason on Mega Minx it just feels easier to do it I know I'm used to F prime with with my with my pointer finger like that but for some reason on Mega Minx it's just easier to do that same with F wide prime I don't know it's kind of weird then I'm going to find that piece, which is that one right there. Maybe I should have done a not color neutral solve. I'll do a not, I'll do a white cross solve after I do this one. That goes there. And then... That goes there. Now I have... I use the table a lot in my Mega Minx solves. I hope that's legal in a competition. Maybe you could tell me in the comments down below. I don't know. I think it is. I'll like keep the cube on the table. I'm pretty sure that's actually used in some events. It makes it easier. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, that's all of those done. Now last layer, I know this case, I know all of the edge orientation cases. There's that done, and I'll get the papers. Okay, three, oops, I bumped the camera there, and I did it again. Looks like it's that case, which is that one, so I hold it like that. I'm gonna put my arm back in the tripod. Are you, R prime, you, are you, R prime, you, two prime, are you, two, are you prime, R prime? And I'll move it like that and get corner edge permutation up. And I do R2, U2, R2 prime, U, R2, U2, R2 prime. And I have this case. And corner permutation. Looks like it's. This one goes here, and then this one goes here, and then this one goes here. It's an interesting one. Where is it? So we've got four wrong. It's those four. So this one. That's five wrong. This is me trying to figure out which case I have. This one goes here, and this one. Oh, I see. Okay. Y, L prime, R, U, 2, R prime, U prime. R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U prime R prime L done. Okay, now I'll do a white color, white cross solve. So I got the yellow and white cross piece in, and bring this up. Got the purple and white cross piece in. Blue and white cross piece in. Got the red and white cross piece in. And got the green and white cross piece in. Now I'm going to do the white, yellow, and blue um, F12 pair. That was pretty slow. I don't know why I'm trying to speed solve it now. I just, I just want to do a casual solve. But I'm going to do white, purple, and yellow. And it looks like white, green, and red because it's already made. And I'll do white, green, and purple. What's the edge over here? Edge is all the way over there. 
put them together like that, and then put them in. Then white, blue, and red. Done. Now it looks like I'll do. Yeah, blue and purple and green too. There's that, and then I'll find that piece. If you're wondering why I'm not doing it as slowly and explaining all my moves, it's because, I mean, this is my solve, not yours. I already made a tutorial part where you can do your own solves. This is just me doing some example solves just to kind of solidify the concept. I don't know, I just want an excuse to do a Mega Mink solve on camera. If you have any tips for Mega Minks or just memorizing a lot of algorithms at once, be it OLL, PLL, or the four look glass layer that I, that I should be focusing on learning, then just put it in the comments below. Not really important, but be, be a little bit appreciated. Now I'm doing a different kind of camera setup. If you like this one, hmm, maybe I'll do it in this video too. I'm recording this at the same time I'm recording a Scube tutorial that I'm going to post. Possibly now, possibly never. Possibly in a few weeks, I don't know. And if you like this, if you like this setup, which is above with a different tripod and the same camera, before I was using an iPad, but if you like this setup, comment A in this video, comment A, and then on, on this video, and down below, or then bell things, and subscribe, and I don't know. And if you like the setup that I was using earlier with the small tripod, oops, I bumped the camera there, pointing at the wall where the lamp now is, then comment B. I'd like to see what you guys prefer. I kind of prefer this because it's a bit easier for me to see what I'm doing. Don't have to look through the camera, I can just look at the cube. Though I do have to reach my arm through the tripod, I think I definitely prefer this setup. It also matters how it looks, but not as much. I think my priority is comfort, then looks. So this is, I like this setup. In this case, is F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And as stated before, I will need the algorithms because I just got my Mega Minx. Mega Minx is, I suppose. But let me see, that case is. Oops, I bumped it again, I think. I don't know if it's showing up really, me bumping it. This, 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 and then. Okay, it's R U two R two prime U prime R two U prime R prime two U two R. Then that is oriented. Then if I hmm, do this, I can commute those three edges like R U R prime U R prime U prime R two U prime R prime U R prime U R U two prime. Then I can move all the corners with. I'll just find it. I've messed up this algorithm before. I hope I don't mess it up now. R U R prime U R R prime U prime R two U prime R prime U R prime U R U two. Yeah, looks like I did mess it up, but I just got this easy edge permutation case. I don't know where I messed it up. I think I have a guess, but like. I did R and then I realized I should have done R prime, but instead of doing R prime two, I did just R prime, so I did nothing. I think that's what I did. R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R two U prime R prime. But then that messed up the corners. That's just the J perm, of course, and it also didn't solve those. This is not a good run. Apparently, I permuted them wrong. So this one, this one. Okay. R U R prime F prime. R U R from U prime R from F R two U prime R prime. That's them solved. 
thin corners for the second time. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Will I just do it again? No, I won't. I'll just keep going with this one. R prime, BR prime, R, BR, R prime, F prime, R, BR prime, R prime, B, R, F, R. Done. So that's white cross example solve, and then I think blue, one of the blue crosses example solve. I think darker blue. Not entirely sure. Both Mega Minxes are good. I'll leave a link to buy either one at both the cubicle or Amazon. And I'm also going to leave links on the on the Christmas review that I'm doing soon. Not yet, though. And subscribe, the bell, whatever that does. Does it make a nice noise when you click it? Ding! I don't know. And check out my friend from Roe's channel. It's a really nice channel. Good Minecraft, all that stuff. And see you in my next video.